You're listening to Ask When, the podcast. Folks from all walks of life talk about their daily hustle and bustle, living and celebrating life, sharing tips on becoming champions, especially for those who are muscling, mental, and physical disabilities. Ask When, the podcast, with your host, who has mustered over 30 years living with cerebral palsy and going strong author and cerebral palsy advocate when charles ask when the podcast starts right now welcome to ask when everyone this afternoon i have katie with me and so i'm going miss katie take it away and explain more about what she does and her story. So welcome, Katie, and I'm going to let you take it away. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having me on the show. It's it's really a pleasure. Um, so yes, my name is Katie Thompson. Um, I am the owner of Modern Darling Media, which is a full-service branding, marketing, and design company um, based out of Utah, right outside of Salt Lake City. Um, and I'm also the host of the Hustlenomics podcast. Hustlenomics, you said? Yes, Hustlenomics. <laughs> Hustlenomics. Now, what made you come up with that name? Well, you know, the hustle has kind of been a buzzword over the past couple of years, especially in the non entrepreneurial um, community. And uh, I really liked the idea of taking that word, having a fun play on words, but also reframing hustle in a new light. Um, because originally it's kind of got the um, idea of you have to work all the time and uh, you never have time for yourself and you kind of have to hustle, 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 um, which you do have to do when you own your business. But I also like the idea of finding a balance and a harmony between hustling and working hard, but also taking care of yourself and and um, enjoying the ride because we all started a business to um, have freedom and be happier. So um, yes. that's kind of where I got the idea. Yes. So. What has been your favorite episode you have done? Wow. Um, I think one of my favorite episodes was uh, actually one of my first ones. I think it was episode three um, with a, a wonderful entrepreneur called Bonnie Bakhtiari. And she was uh, actually a guest on another very popular podcast, Jenna Kutcher's podcast. And I was just thrilled that I had um, somebody who had been on her podcast want to come on mine. Um, so she was generous enough to do that. And uh, it was kind of a, a six degrees of separation, but uh, it was a very cool moment. And she shared some amazing insights about branding and um, running a business on that episode. Well, you're going to have to give me the um, episode. You're going to have to give me the name when we end this recording because Apparently, you have a new fan. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely would love to do that. Thank you. Who is stuck in quarantine by now, as we all are. So yes. um, I'm always looking to educate myself, especially via the podcast, when I'm not doing my journalism degree. But that's besides the point, you guys. <laughs> and so, Katie, if you had to move and only take three things with you, what would they be? Wow, what a great question. Um, the first one would be my laptop. I live off my laptop as a kind of, um, you know, virtual remote worker. Um, my husband, I would have to definitely take him with me. Um, and then probably a good book to read. So the book, the husband and the laptop. Well, that's, that's a good sort of thing to do especially um now would your book be paperback or digital oh definitely paperback i am old school i love okay. having an actual okay. book in my hands <laughs> i was going to say the digital books are not as good as the paperback books so yes katie would take a paperback book with her and on the subject of books if you if your best friend was going to write a book about you, what would the title be? 
Oh, that's a great question. Um, I would have to say maybe compulsively creative. Um, my whole life I've been fascinated with finding new creative things to do. You know, I love everything from fashion to writing to art to, you know, everything in between. And so I'm always finding something new creative to do. So impulsively creative. And what is your favorite book? And what is the title of your favorite book? My favorite book, I would have to say Little Women. It's something that I've loved since I was a kid. I've read it, uh, you know, hundreds of times. And uh, that's definitely one of my favorites. Did you, by chance, go see the movie? I did. I did. And I thought it was really, really interesting. I enjoyed it, too. I enjoyed it, too. Yes, we went to see the movie before movies were off the list. Right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, yeah. But I I can't wait to go and see another movie. And I know that um, films are being halted right now because of coronavirus. But right. that's beside the point. And so what, do you have any questions for me as we wrap this interview up yeah absolutely uh, um you know speaking about being quarantined um i know a lot of people are working from home for the first time and trying to figure out this new normal and productivity is definitely something we're all trying to get better at um so i'd love to hear mm -hmm. about how you stay productive especially with everything that you've got going on with the podcast and your degree and all that well i Pretty much stick it to my schedule. People know without my schedule, it's not happening. So what I end up doing is I email my schedule out to those who need to know about my schedule. And I stick podcast interviews. I stick homework meetings. I... Um, so basically, when I'm not doing the podcast, I try to do my homework to the best of my abilities. Now, Glenn, I have cerebral palsy, so that is a little bit of a challenge. But now that I have more time on my hands, more um, as we all do, I can actually focus on my degree when I'm not doing content creation for you guys. Wonderful. And I actually have a, a degree in journalism as well. So that's something we have in common. Yep. yep. So we are, uh, yeah. And a lot of people are saying to me, oh, when hurry up and get your journalism degree because we need you. Yes. We need you in the field. And helping us out here. And I'm like, I'm trying, you guys. I'm trying to hurry up and get my journalism degree and um, going smoothly. Let's just do it that way. So, I, uh, yeah. But I understand that Utah is not on lockdown, per se. The, uh, Colorado is, I know that, but uh, Utah, not so much. Yeah, we're slowly getting there. I know the schools have been closed and most restaurants and things like that are closed down. We still have, uh, you know, grocery stores and stuff like that open. So that's yeah. good. I think we're slowly getting there. <laughs> we're slowly getting there. Um, someone asked me, someone asked me earlier today, you guys, well, when did you know this ec economic health crisis was coming? And I said, yes, I knew I could feel it back in September mm -hmm. and I'm like yeah that's gonna be a shift and we're going to be placing the impact and um and then January by the time it got to January I was ready to become a remote worker in May not in March not the way I did it but in May, I was ready to become a remote worker. So um, I left 
my job left me because of what's going on right now. And I feel better for I would in the education space, but the education space and I did not work out as an educator. We're much better friends as a student, as a student of journalism than we are teaching the young kids, but that's mm -hmm. uh, that. And so Katie, where can people find you and where can people get a hold of you if they choose to do so? Absolutely. So you can learn more about me at my website, which is www.moderndarlingmedia.com. You could tune into the podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, all of the podcast platforms under the Hustlenomics podcast. And um, you can always email me at hello at moderndarlingmedia.com. And I'd love to hear from you. Yep. Yep. And just be aware that you guys better stay safe. They just stay healthy and stay sane, you guys. Because right. <laughs> this quarantine, this quarantine is not for the weekend on. This That's quarantine true. is not for the weekend on. So, um, well, thank you for spending your time with Katie and I, you guys. And I hope that you enjoyed this episode. And... I hope that you guys are staying safe and happy and healthy and let's make this world a better place for you guys. And I'll see you guys next time and we'll just carry on. Bye, you guys. Bye, thank you. You just listened to Ask Win, the podcast. To become a guest in the show, visit our website at askwin.weebly.com or call 816-591-3399. Just look for Danielle. Connect with Win on Twitter at Win Kelly Charles and like our Facebook page at Butterflies of Wisdom. You can also purchase Win's book through Amazon.com or get a copy of the audiobook through Audible. Ask Win, the podcast.